once we put on a trade, anything can happen. One of the greatest pitfalls of traders is confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is when traders only look for information that supports what they want to believe, even if there are evidence that contradicts it. It's important to know about this bias because this bias can make our thinking unclear and cause us to make bad trading decisions. The solution? Always prepare for both sides. Hey there, Tamir from FibonacciTraders.com, you read the daily market recap. Please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends and without any further ado, let's see the charts. Bears are trying, but bulls are here, bulls are strong and are here to stay. 433 is holding very strong support since middle of June. 438 to the upside, we will get uptrend continuation towards the 444 and this upper white trend line. The trend is your friend and we have trend lines to help us identify that we are in an uptrend. Bulls are in control, we have higher lows, higher highs, so don't look to short the market because you will get swiped out. QQQ, same thing, very strong uptrend, trend lines helps us to identify support for the higher lows, resistance for the higher highs, and until proven otherwise, Qs are in an uptrend, let's see continuation above. 370 towards this upper white trend line we can clear the chart trend lines are the true support resistance we can take fibonacci also helps us to identify the next support and resistance for future price action and we can see 367 to the upside 360 together with this white trend line to the downside Dow Jones, bulls of the Dow holding strong the 338 as we can see since June 9th. We are holding the 338. This red trend line, in my opinion, needs to get retested as support before the next leg up. We have an uptrend retracement. Let's see this red trend line together with the 50% area, the 337 get retested before the next leg up. IWM broadening formation at its best. We have trend line holding the lower lows. 184 now from support. Now became resistance breaking down and under this green trend line we are heading towards the 181 and maybe closing this gap because we know that more than 80% of all gaps will get filled we can take fibonacci swing low swing high 182 below this one we are heading 178 and 176 to fill the gap to the downside bitcoin trend lines are the true support resistance for price action and also our map for future price action and it doesn't matter if you trade stocks etfs forex or cryptos trend lines are your best friend once you identify and you know the in-depth relationship between price action aka candlestick analysis and trend lines you can trade anything you want on any time frame as you can see this green trend line resistance support resistance and now, once again, resistance. If we want to know where price might be heading next, if it will break above this green trend line together with the 31K to the upside, we have Fibonacci to tell us. 33, 35, and then 38,600 to the upside. Ethereum broke above this trend line, now holding above the 1860 with 1927, 1930 to the upside as resistance. Let's see where Ethereum will take us. We might get the same price action as we got here. We can get over here and then breaking up and above towards the 2144, but 
always prepare for both sides. This is why we have Fibonacci levels to the downside and to the upside. Apple uptrend, very strong uptrend. Bulls of Apple are here. Full power. And now Apple looks like heading towards the 190, 193 area to this upper purple trend line. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Where Apple will end this year? We can take Fibonacci to help us. We are heading towards this purple trend line together with this 200. Above it, we are heading towards 220. To the downside, this purple trend line needs to hold. Otherwise, we have 176. We have this gap over here. Don't be surprised if this gap will get filled anytime soon. Before the next leg up, follow price, use trend lines and Fibonacci levels as your map for future price action. All other indicators are just lagging behind. Tesla holding the 243, 275 to the upside. Below 243, we are heading towards this gap at the 236. But for now, bulls of Tesla are strong. Let's see a break up and above towards the 275 towards 323.24. AMD, at this point, if you find anything you like on this video, please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends, will be much appreciated. AMD, double top scenario, validation. Now we are an inch of closing this gap. Once AMD will close this gap, we will get some kind of a bounce, in my opinion, back to the 116. And then if the momentum will stay bearish on AMD, we will have some kind of this price action towards 110 and maybe towards 93. Google. Back above the 121 because bulls know that this 121 is a very important level of support. We can take Fibonacci even like this. And now we can see 118 to the downside, 123 to the upside. If this will get broken to the downside, we are heading towards this gap at the 113. Weekly close above 123, 124. And we can say Google is heading towards 126 and 129. NVIDIA just drawing some scenarios on NVIDIA after this crazy run. Some pullback retracement will be very healthy. But we are not fortune tellers. So let's clean the chart. And what do we see for now? All we see is uptrend. Until proven otherwise, some kind of retracement. We can take swing low, swing high. We can take also from here. And now we can see very clear all the support to the downside, all the resistance to the upside. 123 needs to hold otherwise 110 and maybe 392 to the downside long continuation above 441 towards 464 and 495 always prepare for both sides netflix we can see very similar price action on netflix same as nvidia uptrend retracement Next, 416 is to hold. Otherwise, we are heading towards this gap at the 410. Below 410, we are heading towards 385. Long continuation above 434 towards 450. Amazon, after three weeks of sideways move, with 124 to the downside and 128 to the upside, came today, broke up. And above, very bullish sentiment on Amazon. Next will be the 134 and then 142. This is why we always need to prepare.
for both sides, we have trend line to help us to identify. 134 is next. Above the 134 and this white trend line, we are heading towards 142 and maybe towards 167. Follow prices, trend lines, and Fibonacci levels. For future price action, Meta holding above the 275. Basically moving sideways, as you can see, 275 from resistance to support. Let's see where Meta will end this week. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Below 275 or in the zone of 284? Shopify. Very tough price action to trade. But 61 now is holding. We had uptrend, retracement, 61, 62 needs to hold, otherwise 58, long continuation above 64, towards 67, above 67, in my opinion, we are heading towards 77, we also have here, trend line that holds the higher lows, and we have also here, the same angle of trend line that helps us to identify the higher highs. So we have Shopify, short uptrend in a long uptrend. Trend lines helps us to identify what is the trend. Microsoft bulls after three days of resting, bulls of Microsoft woke up, closed above the 337, 337 resistance, support, and now broke up and above. Let's see, continuation towards the 334. Above it, we are heading towards purple trend line. Trend lines help us to identify where price might be heading next. They are the true support resistance for price action from the past, but they're also roadmap for future price action. If you want to learn in-depth relationship between price action, aka candlestick analysis, trend lines, and Fibonacci, and become your own indicator, and stop following others, including myself, and be able to take decisions by yourself, check the links in the description below. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends will be much appreciated. Don't forget to check the links in the description below for more educational resources. Until the next video, stay safe.